Oh yeah, Rob here from Dot Rob. We're back in the workshop. Um, head down, ass up now. It's time to get some shit rolling. Um, we've got a few new builds on the go. Some updates of what we're doing and we'll show you a little bit of how to stuff because oh, I think you guys want to see how we do it. I'm not saying this is how it's supposed to be done because I don't want you keyboard warriors telling me I'm doing it wrong. But if I show you how we found to do it over the last 35 years, then it works all right for us. So we've got a little update on the Husky 500s we're building. One's an 85 CR500 motocross version, the other one's an 86 X, what the fuck is it called? XC500, something like that. It's an enduro version, off-roady thing. So the pipes come from JSV, beautiful as always. Um, so now we've got the pipe on, now we can modify the tank, then we can actually get the thing finished off. Uh, it's been forever, I know, but my, uh, attention levels are not good on these things like i say two hours and i'm throwing I'm, th I'm throwing shit up the wall so i can only work on it for a little bit before my head goes so we are going to crack on get these huskies finished the 86 looking much better now we're getting through it this one's going to be really pretty we've got an issue with the shock on this one it's not long enough i don't know why we just put it back together so i'm guessing there may be a, a plating issue stopping the piston coming all the way to the bottom so we'll investigate that uh, we do have another shock on the way, which we're probably going to put on the 86, and then we'll use the bits from the 86 to make this one look better or work better. But at the moment, it's not, it's too high, so we need to figure that out. But apart from that, we're getting there. Um, hopefully in the next couple of episodes, I can uh, get my ass into gear and actually do something with them. And then do up with um, a pinch in there. But I'm going to get one of them done red, one of them done Blue. Blue. I think you just paint strip of them, can I? So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to fit steering bearings. It's not hard. You do need some specialist tools, unfortunately. You don't want to be going at it with a grinder and a chisel. I've seen plenty of that in my time. Um, I'll show you two ways. I'll show you the way that we do it, because we've got the fancy press and all the machined up spaces, which is an industrial way of doing it. But we've also got a, a range of tools from Motion Pro, which is good for your um, amateur garage mechanic they seem to work really good so maybe we'll use them a lot more ourselves but i'll show you what we do i'll show you two ways of doing it and we'll go from there so steering bearings pain in the ass to do got to be done on a normal season you probably do them two or three times uh, especially if you're running sand and wet and all that shit so we normally get a punch from the inside on the inside of the race get it out it's a two-man job it's a bit agricultural so we've got this motion pro tool and in fairness it works really really well so i think this is going to replace our agricultural manner so you basically this is the insert you put it in you put it in and you tighten it down so it's underneath the race so it tightens up nice and snug then you put this cap on the outside and basically you you wind it out It's that easy, he says. So you just wind it out, no big deal, no hitting, no swearing, no smashed up fingers. There it is. So 10 out of 10 for that one, that's mega. So steering bearings are out. You can see that there's a ring of steel in the frame that the steering bearing locates into. Hardest bit is getting to the underside of this lip, which is where the tool comes in handy. Uh, otherwise you've got a punch and you're working on 
like a millimeter and it's just it's hard work so um if you are trying to punch them out don't hit that metal ring you got to find the actual steering bearing so that's it out i'll do the bottom one now and um clean it up ready for the new races so that's the top race out cleaned up ready to get the new race back in i'll do the bottom race we'll stick a set of bearings in this one um i'm not going to show you the steering bearings on the ktm because they're a bit different um, with the extra clamps um i could show you it'd be hard yeah yeah i will show you fuck it like that now it feels tight and it's gone so for installation on the ktm it's really easy to be honest just set it in place you can heat the frame up if you want uh, i don't think there's much need to and just take and make sure that you're nice and square going in So Motion Pro, I've got this tool. The bearing needs to go down another millimeter, probably millimeter and a half. So you just sit that, so it sits right on the edge of the bearing. So we've got a second Motion Pro tool now. We're gonna try the bearing installation tool, which is new to me, so bear with me, I've never used this one before. So basically, you, you take your bearing, you, you sit it in. But almost straight away, it's flush. So now you'd be normally with a punch, catching on the edge of it, knackering the bearing. So this tool basically goes through, sits like that. You get the right diameter punch. Bearing, cotter. And basically, wind them in. Again, a really nice, simple tool to use. All right, well, credit where credit's due, kid. I will use that again. I was first to take the piss, but that's actually all right. Right, let's get the, we'll show them how to do extra clamps. So, like I say, I'll show you how to do the steering bearings now. All steering bearings are the same, apart from Xtrig. So if I show you both, um, Xtrigs are really well engineered, in fairness, they're lovely things. So basically, with Xtrig, you've got two bolts on the bottom. So you just loosen the two bolts, usually quite tight. These have just been put in, so they're not too bad. So you take your one bolt out, and you'll see two bolt heads, and what you will see is one thread. So take them out. You take the same bolt and you put it back in the threaded part there and that will press the stem out. Very trick. So this is just a Honda triple clamp. We need to change the bearing on it anyway. So I'll show you two ways of doing it. The one way that we do, which is using the press and all the proper tools. And there's a Motion Pro tool which actually damages the bottom bearing. So. Uh, this is a scrap bearing so i'll show you both ways uh, these are a press fit some people they grind the bearing off they chisel the bearing off that ain't what you want to do so i'll show you the way we do it and i'll show you the tools which are turning out to be much more effective than i thought they would be so what you need is a nice spacer you can use a socket it's not really ideal it's not deep enough but you can do what you don't want to do is support the clamp like that, because what happens is the clamp can bow under the pressure and actually pinch it, make it tighter. You don't want that. Sometimes these fender bolts are raised, so you need a smaller diameter, but if you can see that is a nice fit. So that'll push it out nicely. Don't worry about putting anything on the top. As long as it's a nice, fresh thing, you won't damage the thread. So basically, and usually come out with a couple of tons of pressure. This is hydraulic, but you don't get a feel for it with hydraulic and it just, you think, fucking hell, am I damaging something? So this should now push the stem all the way through, taking the bearing off and removing the stem from the, the press fit in the bottom clamp. So you worked up 
about four ton there. You see it going through? Just there and bearing off. So to use the motion power tool, you've got to break up the cage basically. So you get you get your screwdriver in here, man handle it out. So you've got a bit of wiggle room, and then you can cut the cage, and you're basically just breaking the thing apart. Ugly as it looks. There you go. Okay, so the Motion Pro tool has got these grub screws that are pointed. So basically you back them all out, drop it over the race, and then it'll, these will screw in to be attached to underneath the top lip of the bearing. It's quite hard to get it in the middle, if I'm honest. Let's do them all up equally. Don't do them too tight because it'll actually push onto the, the stem, I'm sure. And you take this, put that on to stop the thread being damaged. Size spanners that time. And basically, do that up, and it should pull the race off without having to push. There she is. There and removed, ready for clean up and the new one. What a cracking bit of kit. Slightly impressed with that. So you got everything cleaned up now, your new bearing, it's actually an old bearing, but it is what it is. I'm just showing you. Steering stem all cleaned up. First job is to push that through. Second job is to push the bearing through. Don't do them at the same time because it puts a lot of force on the bearing. So I'll take you into the press and I'll show you how to do it. So with your stem just placed back in there, you're gonna push the stem through until it bottoms out on this little circlet. You don't have to keep pushing because it will, a 10 ton press can destroy a lot of stuff fairly quickly. So we use these custom made tubes, which are machined down at the end to fit the bearing. But for now, that goes on there, which means you can push down on there till it goes all the way through. We do use bearings as a packer because there's a hole in the middle and if for example, this stem's slightly longer than our tool. It gives the thread somewhere to go, otherwise you can destroy the thread. So, close it down. Always keep an eye on it, it's going in nice and square. And then that should just go in there nicely. Probably talking a couple of tonne of pressure, no biggie. If it all starts creak creaking and groaning, then you maybe need to give it a little clean up. So you put it until it's flush, and then just to make sure that it's really seated properly, you just have a second stab of a spacer just on the middle of that stem, just to make sure she's sat down because you can't be 100% that it sits flush. So you just go back again. And just give it another little squeeze. Make sure you've got your seal on your bearing. Sit your bearing over nicely. You can see that some, some mongrel before has been grinding at the old bearing, but it's not too bad. This is where this tool really comes into fashion. You see the little machined on lip? That presses on the inside of the bearing, not on the race. So that goes on there and sits on the bearing. And you go again. 
bearing doesn't take anywhere near as much force so you don't need to worry about pushing on the middle of the stem again there we go again if that goes on too easily then you've got an issue the bearing's going to spin but that's going on quite nicely there you go new steering bearing I've had. So to refit the bearing using the Motion Pro tools when you haven't pressed the stem out, we use this factory RMZ450 Suzuki exhaust bung as a spacer. Supports it under there because you're going to be smashing this thing in a few seconds. Drop your bearing on, making sure your seal stays in place. And drop your, drop your tool on with a different end on now, which now pushes on the inside of that bearing. Locate it and give it a bit of a tap. There you go. Easy as pie. So in the workshop at the moment, we got a 2018 KTM EXCF 450 Six Days France edition. Um, bit guilty, this one's from myself. Um, I've recently passed my road bike test. So I want to get out on this one, have a little play. It came in cheap because it was missing tons of bits. So we've been raiding all the cupboards, making all kinds of phone calls, calling some favors in. So uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's gonna be trick, as you'd imagine. Um, so Tone's got the motor just going back together again, just had to check it all over. In fact, the engine doesn't need anything. It just needs cleaning up, putting it back together. But the rest of the stuff, I'm working with magic, anodizing a few bits and bobs, put some nice wheels in it and good suspension and she's trick. So that's it for this episode. Um, that's how you do steering bearings, or how we do steering bearings, sorry for all you keyboard fucking idiots. Um, that's how we do steering bearings. You do them how you want, you grind them off if you're happy with the doing that, you knock yourself out. Um, next episode, we're gonna show you uh, linkage bearings. Uh, we've got a job on for Kurt Nickel, I'll show you what we're doing with that. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces going on, so there's quite a lot. It's all a bit grassrootsy. It's all a bit, you know, there's, there's nothing shiny to show you. Hopefully the XE is going to be in a bit of a better state as well, but um, don't hold your breath on that one. <laughs>